Hey guys, this is Matt Palmer, coming to you from my studio where I record and mix my albums. I'm a uh, Strings by Mail sponsored artist, and my friends at Strings by Mail have asked me to make a, a video series on recording. Now, many of you probably know me more as a, a solo guitarist, but you may not know that I've uh, also recorded uh, and self-produced uh, my own albums. So before getting too far into this video, I just wanted to uh, to mention the, my latest CD. If you if you wanted to see some of, here, listen to some of my work, it's here. This is uh, my latest CD, Sonata Sentimental. Uh, uh, really happy with this disc. I think it's some of my best work to date. Um, features you know, some great great solo guitar work, including a piece that my friend wrote for me, uh, Sonata Sentimental. Uh, by Raphael Scarfolari, and this is a 26-minute uh, long solo guitar sonata, just a, you know, beautiful from beginning to end. Uh, but also have another a couple of other CDs that you could check out uh, uh, how I've kind of progressed over the years in in recording. And you could also listen to any of my YouTube videos on my YouTube channel, uh, Matt Palmer Guitar, or uh, Strings by Mail has a good collection of my videos also on their YouTube channel. I thought I'd start this recording series uh, by giving you kind of a, a rundown of the gear that I use. Now, I'm not sponsored by any of these uh, companies uh, whose gear that I'm currently using. This is just the gear that I've come across and found that works for me and my uh, situation currently. So I'll just start going down the line here, what I use, and I'll start uh, just in the first uh, link of the chain, I guess, from the audio source of the guitar, uh, and that would be the microphones. I decided upon these microphones because I was recording at home. I, I chose these because I will be close micing. I don't want to pick up the sound of the room. I want to pick up uh, only really the sound of the guitar. So I keep the microphones quite close to me, and, and I'm using a directional pair of microphones. So these are cardoid condenser microphones by Neumann. Uh, German-made microphones. These are KM184s. It's a stereo pair of condenser microphones. And I've gotten really good results with these. They don't tend to color the sound much. I feel like the sound I'm getting sounds like my guitar. They seem to add a little bit of warmth to the sound, but, but they're very natural. There's a strong signal that comes through, and I've been very happy with these. I've recorded all three of my albums, and 90% of the recordings you can find on me uh, find of me online are done with these uh, KM184s by Neumann. Uh, next in line, and this is an area you really don't want to short yourself on, and this is microphone cables. While I don't have the best microphone cables uh, ever made, those would get quite expensive, I do have a pretty decent pair. These are Mogami Golds. I have not noticed any problem with these, but they are you know, a little uh, bit of an upgrade from your standard microphone cable. And next in line, very important for digital recording, is the audio interface. The audio interface that I am using has capabilities that far exceed my needs, but I was able to find a, a really good deal on this. This is the Motu 828 MK3, which as you can see right up front on the front panel we have two XLR microphone inputs that supply phantom power and that's uh, important for these stereo condenser microphones. I need phantom power to run those. This unit has pretty good built-in preamps so I'm just using what's built in. I don't uh, have an external microphone preamp. Um, those can get quite pricey so I'm pretty happy with what I have here. One thing that this has that I do like are, are built-in effects. So the, the reverb that I end up using on my albums actually comes from this unit as opposed to some uh, software plugins, which also can be great, but I, I found out I was able to get a really pretty natural reverb sound from you know, just right from here, uh, the audio interface. Uh, and this is a FireWire interface, which you know this is just how it connects to, to my computer. And the next piece of equipment I have is a, 
the MacBook Pro. This is a this is an older machine. I think this is from 2010, but it's still working. This has enough enough RAM to where I don't have any problems with uh, overloading the computer, uh, which in itself could cause problems uh, recording. If you had an older machine with like two gigabytes or four gigabytes RAM, you could have some problems. You know, the software might be uh, you know very hungry for memory, and you may not have it with a machine like that. But I think in general, most newer computers would have you know, 8 gigabytes, uh, 16 gigabytes, uh, becoming more of the more normal. And then to talk about the software that I'm using uh, to record and mix uh, and, and edit my, my music, this, this is also by Motu. It's uh, called Digital Performer. And actually I'm using a, the free version that's shipped with the Motu M828 MK3. It's called AudioDesk. I had totally planned on using the full version of Digital Performer, but I found that this this version that came with the, the hardware was enough for me. Only recording uh, solo guitar, I don't really need all of the bells and whistles, which I'm sure are amazing, but I, I don't need them, so I'm, I'm okay, at least for the time being, using audio desk. <laughs> Finally, when you've recorded and you begin the, the editing and the mixing part of your album, you need some professional equipment to, to listen back. And I would, I would suggest everyone have a pair of decent headphones and a pair of decent studio monitors. Once again, this is an area you don't want to overlook and, and go too cheap on uh, by using some earbuds or some cheap desktop computer speakers or something or just the built-in speakers in your laptop because someone is going to be listening to your CD on some really high-end audio equipment and they're going to hear things that you wouldn't hear. So we do need to have you know, some decent monitors and decent headphones to listen to. The, the headphones I use are uh, kind of an industry standard, kind of old standby pair of uh, headphones. I'm just using a pair of Sony MDR-V6 headphones. As you can see behind me, I'm using these KRK 6-inch stereo monitors, which uh, give a pretty good representation of the sound, and as you, you know, likely know, those are uh, for the budget-minded. But I'm getting good results with them. I, I, I hear, with this setup, I hear everything I need to hear to, uh, to both edit and, and, and listen back to ensure that I'm getting the sound that I want. Okay, thanks everyone for watching this video. I hope that this gear uh, rundown was uh, helpful for you uh, in deciding how to uh, approach your own recordings at home. And uh, I do encourage you to, to once again check out my newest CD, Sonata Sentimental, which was just released uh, two weeks ago, uh, if you really want to see what this uh, equipment is capable of. And please do stay in tune to this YouTube channel uh, for future installments in this home recording series. Thanks. See you.